Hi, my name is Carolyn Marino Mullen. I'm the founder and executive director at the National Museum of Animals and Society. I'm so grateful that you're doing this webinar and hopefully this will play a very small part in a larger celebration of Tom Regan and Nancy Regan and the work they've undertaken through the Culture and Animals Foundation. We at the museum are incredibly grateful for your support. You have funded several of our projects, mostly through our exhibitions. Personally, I'm a huge fan of Tom's. You've inspired me deeply with your enthusiasm for preserving the history of animal protection, which is essentially what our museum does. Um, but I love that you couple that enthusiasm for the history with support for the arts and through creative enterprises and academic pursuits with the foundation. I think that's exactly what we're also trying to do here at the museum is to reach people and educate them about animals, but through an interdisciplinary lens. So without your support, we wouldn't have been able to do our first exhibit, My Dog is My Home, which looked at the human animal homelessness uh, situation and that really launched our museum. We were able to get new board members, new supporters in Los Angeles. It really helped to grow our museum. So now we're approaching a new building, uh, which is a huge landmark for us. And I think you'd be very proud. So we're so grateful for all that you've done and we applaud you on your life's achievements. Hi, Tom. Hi, Nancy. I'm so glad to be joining in this celebration of you. You're two of my favorite people and there are so many things to celebrate you for. Of course, your huge contributions to animal rights, Tom, your writing and leadership and activism and the wonderful contribution that both of you have made through the Culture and Animals Foundation. But what I wanna celebrate is who you are as a person and to highlight some of the things that I've learned from you over the years, Tom. Our friendship, unbelievably, is coming up on 30 years. It's not quite, but it's over 25. Um, you probably don't remember, but the first time we met, I had decided to study with you at State, and I came to Raleigh, and we met at the fairgrounds where you all were doing an animal rights table. And within a couple of minutes, you had given me a scholarship or at least promised me one. And so I was very thrilled, to say the least. And that was the beginning of my devotion to you, which continues to this day. Um, anyway, since then, you have been a teacher, an advisor, um, a mentor, and a role model. You've been my employer a few times. You've both been fellow activists and friends and confidants, and really you've been like family. During the years I was a student with you, Tom, thanks in large part to you, I experienced the perfect blend of academics and activism. You were an excellent teacher, you were exciting and challenging and encouraging, and you were a creative and engaged advisor. Um, luckily, I also had the opportunity to work with you, too, on the Compassionate Living Festival, which was always a wonderful experience. Um, Tom, I learned so much from you, not just about philosophy, but about how to be a good person. I witnessed you regularly making choices about how to conduct yourself as a teacher, as a leader in a social justice movement, as a colleague, and as a friend. You consistently choose the high road, the right side of the issue. You choose being kind over being right, and you regularly put compassion into action. I've learned a lot from that, and I'm grateful. You and Nancy are also good at giving someone the benefit of the doubt, tolerating imperfections, I know I was more than once in the position of receiving that generosity from you, where it might have been fair to doubt my judgment or trustworthiness, which brings up some memories. One time, especially when I was um, house-sitting for you all, um, you'd gone to Italy, and I misremembered when you were coming home. I was in bed reading an Amy Hamlin in town, and also spending the night at your house, was in the back office with her massage therapist getting a massage. 
and you arrived home late at night, no doubt very tired, expecting an empty house, and uh, had to deal with uh, the three of us surprising you in your house. And I recall the two of you being very forgiving and, um, again, tolerant. And I was grateful for that as well. Anyway, another way that my life was influenced by my connection with you was through the exposure to people that you introduced me to. And really, some of these people have had a profound impact on me and, and really even shaped my life um, until now. Of course, that would include the two of you. But uh, while working on my graduate degree with you, Tom, you introduced me to writers like Marty Keel and Carol Adams um, and others who became such an important part of my, uh, my graduate program. But uh, I remember so clearly you giving me one of Marty's early papers, and I remember taking it home. It was printed out on paper with paper clips, and I took it home, and I remember being so blown away and so excited by reading it, and um, I just related so completely to her. And it was through you and that exposure that um, I ended up developing a wonderful friendship with her and actually worked with Feminists for Animal Rights a year or so after graduating. Which brings up um, another thing that I was so glad about, and that was that um, I was aware of and appreciative at the time that you never tried to convince me or other students for that matter that your ideas were the right ideas. When I started studying ecofeminism and developed a strong connections to those beliefs, um, you accepted that and never made me feel as though I'd taken the wrong path ideologically or philosophically or that I was wrong for having those beliefs. And to me, that showed a level of humility that was not always present in those environments. I met lots of wonderful and interesting people through studying with you and working with you as an activist and an organizer. In fact, I was looking through some things earlier and found this person that I met. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's River Phoenix and me, that crazy night in Stewart Theater. Um, anyway, I wish I had pictures of all the great people I've met through you. It would be an amazing collection, uh, including other graduate students like Liz Randall and Janet Bagby and... Um, Activists like Batya Bauman and Bernie Unti and Martin Rowe, writers like Carol Adams and so many others, artists like Sue Ko. The list is huge, as your influence has been. Your work and you have both inspired me so much and so many others as well, and we celebrate you. We wish you both well, and we send you love. Hello Tom, it's Lisa Levinson from Public Eye Artists for Animals and In Defense of Animals. It's my pleasure to spend some time with you today telling you how grateful I am for all the things that you've given to me and to the animal rights community. I had the opportunity to meet Zipporah, Schultz, and Jim Harris at the um, Compassionate Living Festival many years ago and that's where we connected and had a chance to meet and plan the uh, organization that we ended up starting which is Public Eye Artists for Animals. We spent eight years or more putting together programming to teach compassion for animals through the arts to families, children, people of all kinds and it's through the Culture and Animals Foundation that we were able to put together uh, many performances, one about fracking called Not a Drop to Drink, another one about uh, animals being affected by human interactions called From the Mouth of the River. And these had a lot of elements to them, including musical puppet shows, where Jim wrote the scripts for these shows. And all of this 
went out into the world and was able to educate children and families. We also did a veggie cabaret, a couple of those, and we did something called the Carnivores Anonymous. All of these fun programs with skits and all kinds of entertainment to educate people about animal issues from the place that matters most, which is from their hearts. And that's what you've done, is you've really helped me connect with my heart and also to express myself in a way that hopefully uh, impacted many other people. So thank you so very, very much. I really appreciate your all of your support and encouragement and financial backing and not to mention your words of wisdom. I remember sitting in an audience one time where you were having us remember uh, an animal, the first animal that really impacted us that we rescued. That was such an important moment for me because it helped me to see the power of our visualizations and I've continued to do that with vegan spirituality using guided meditations to help people to see that they can make a difference in the world. And another time when you talked about the army of the kind, that concept really blew my mind. I love the idea of this army of the kind. And as a result, now I have an opportunity through the sustainable activism campaign to really help activists to become that army of the kind. And it's, I think of you when I'm, when I'm doing my work and I, I'm so grateful to you. So thanks to you and to Nancy for the goodness that you bring into the world and all of the ways that you've helped animals through through the creative projects that you've funded. So it's a delight to know you and to spend this time together. Many, many blessings. <laughs>